Good evening, I'm Jameson Euler in for Paul Legrone this half hour. First at 530, nearly a dozen people facing felonies following unrest in the Bay Area last month. Rioting and looting left several businesses damaged. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell checked in with one business owner who's just now getting back on her feet. This is like my baby, you know, I've been here for nearly 30 30 years. Badar Yunus's business is finally getting off the ground again. Her salon had been closed for about two months because of COVID-19. After she'd reopened, chaos erupted in the area nearby. They broke all my windows, cash register, and we were closed for nearly 12 days. The Hillsborough State Attorney filed the first set of felony charges related to looting at the end of May. 11 people charged with 15 felonies. Earlier this week, the state attorney said his office wouldn't prosecute almost 70 peaceful protesters arrested in Tampa earlier this month. This community embraces people's First Amendment rights and will stand to support them. This community will not tolerate, and I will not tolerate, people exploiting that moment to commit crimes. Authorities say the 11 are accused of looting or trying to break into businesses in the Hillsborough Avenue and university areas of Tampa and Temple Terrace, leaving owners like Unisa with thousands of dollars in damage. What they have done to this whole uh, plaza, it was not right. This owner has finally picked up the pieces from that night. Her message. Please don't hurt others, you know. If you're doing this thing, it's, you're not hurting one person, you're hurting a whole community. The state attorney's office says more charges are expected against others. The office is reviewing evidence and more than 130 arrest reports by law enforcement since May 30th for crimes that may have happened during that civil unrest. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.